Welcome to Pulverostmannen and today we are going to have a look at this vintage CD-ROM changer drive that I got. It's a Pioneer a model DRM602X and it is a CD-ROM drive with a six slot magazine that you put your CD discs inside. It has a bit of lights here a busy light, one for audio, and if the magazine is locked, and of course the power button here. So when uh, pressing the exit magazine here, you have this six slot. You just fold every of these magazines out and you put your disc in. And uh, you repeat it until you have filled uh, all the six slots if you like. And you need to put this uh, disc upside down so the bl blank face is upside in this uh, magazine here. So it's numbered here so you can see when or which disc is loaded into the drive. You got a phone jack and a uh, volume control for this one. So when listening to audio CDs you can get audio output to your headphones in this jack here. And on the back side we got some connectors. We got this Phono RCA output for line out. And I have connected this one to the back of the sound card on the computer so it can play back sound directly from uh, the computer. You can connect this one directly to the sound source as well but I decided to do it this, this time like this. And you got this SCSI device connectors here and you need this external cable to connect it to the controller card and it's in the bottom of the computer there. So Inside of the computer, it's a very old one. I had this like for a very long time and uh, it's a Pentium Pro, 200 megahertz. It's equipped with uh, 128 megabyte of RAM. Some uh, graphics card over here. An NVIDIA Riva 128. And there's the controller card, some Raster 32 with extra ROM installed, several small hard drives, some are regular IDE and uh, some are SCSI device. And this CD-ROM here is also a SCSI. So it's kind of the only computer I got that still works with this uh, kind of controller card. And it seems it's a bit picky with uh, the hardware it's sitting inside so even if uh, a computer can find it it's not even sure it will even uh, find the devices that are connected so I am uh, happy I got this computer even if it's old so this uh, drive here is dated from 1994 so it's a re really old but uh, rugged piece of hardware so Let's go ahead and start it up and show how it works. And to make uh, things a little more interesting, I have also hooked up this old radio here, which is a tube amplifier directly to the computer so we can play the sound directly through it. So let's go ahead and start this baby up. There we have it. Really old school, right? Shivers down your spine of things you can't decline. Massive time effects of past and future threats. There we got the pioneer. It's running under Windows 98, so 
Works pretty fine with it. It's always taking a long time when you're waiting for it to boot up. Excellent. So to begin using this unit here, it will cycle through the, all the sockets with disks and uh, check the data on them. So uh, when opening up the computer over here, it will uh, start cycling the, the magazine to check the stuff on it. Last one. And here we can see we got the internal CD ROM drive here, and we got five audio disks and one data. We can open up the data to check what's on it, and here's the data on it. Everything is very slow because it reads in 2x. So it's uh, really not very fast, but it does still work. So now when it's ready to read everything from it, you can uh, start up Winamp for example, to play all the sounds. And it will automatically switch to the correct disk when you request a spe specific track to be played. So let's uh, start up this track over here and we're going to see it take the correct disc and uh, the audio light will light up and the sound will start mm, delicious first class base mother's milk and what is this miraculous thing and how did I get born from that base? Of course, humans. So helpful, so wonderful. I have to take this wonderful human thing to the limit. And now we can see it's uh, loaded disk 3. New orders, boy. I want some base. And I want it done tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm not sure. Let's take disk one instead.
There we have it. A six disc CD ROM changer that is working. Thanks for watching, have another good day.